Hey, How To Heaven fans. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a little update video. And this is something I didn't know the camera did. I have a DJI mount down here. And uh, I guess it follows me. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so I wanna give you some updates on what we've been doing around the garage. First of all, I kinda hurt myself playing racquetball. Um, so I'll be limping a little bit if the camera's a little shaky. Uh, let's see. Let me quickly go over some of these projects that we've done. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have the videos up yet, but they are coming. So, let's see. Wow, this is really cool. Here's a project that we finished just a little bit ago, and I'm going to publish the video. Basically, this is a Harbor Freight Ultra Quiet one gallon compressor, and I use it to pump up my rolling jack. Really convenient, except that thing had no displacement and you'd have to pump it up 10 times to lift that jack up. So I got this baby for $10 and it had a bad motor. There's the motor. I suspect it's either just this bad connection right here or it's a bad capacitor, but that's gonna be maybe another video further down the line. I'm gonna put that motor on that and then just blow it out. I don't need all these little compressors. So what I did here, and you can see my How To Heaven sticker, I uh, converted this, and I really like this because it's five gallon capacity. So it's five times the capacity of that, and then it has this little um, cart. It's a roll away as well. And then it's got dual ports there. And we come around this way, and here's what I did. I mounted that little ultra quiet motor. I made that fitting right there, TIG welded it. I couldn't find uh, another fitting to convert these air hoses, I went everywhere. Granger's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware. So that's a project that we have recently done. And let me show you something else. Oh, I'll probably include a couple snippets of this cart here. Pick this cart up. My son's uh, in the automotive field, so he needed a cart to kind of haul around his materials when he does oil changes and things like that. So that was just a simple sticker deal. And uh, let me show you one more thing. This is gonna be an upcoming video on the basics of a kegerator. Picked this up and uh, reconditioned it, got it all up and running, and in the process, learned a lot about kegerators. So I'm gonna make a video on kegerator basics coming up as well. So in my quest to get the ultimate oxycetylene rig, I've acquired some tanks and um, other things. And I'm gonna turn this cart, which is a dolly, into a custom oxycetylene rig for the garage. Uh, you just can't find one. I had one that was actually a commercial unit. Uh, the tanks were about five feet tall. They were really big. I ended up selling it because they would expire before I could even use them. And then I went to the turbo torch, which was too small. And I ended up with this size rig. I also bought that one over there, but that's too small as well. So I think this is the perfect size for what I do around here, heating, cutting. I still have a, I have a plasma cutter, but sometimes you just use oxyacetylene. So I'm gonna make my ultimate welding cart and it's gonna store the hose, which is what the other one didn't. You kind of draped it over the handle, but I want this thing to be done right. So we're gonna end up doing that. That's gonna be an upcoming video. So this is going to be an upcoming video and we ended up getting a 2022 hatchback, Toyota hatchback. Now the GRs, they're still on the wait list. So we're still trying to get a couple of GRs, a core and a circuit. And according to the internet, good luck. But hey, we've got deposits down on two. So I'm gonna do a video on this. And the uh, reason we got this one for my son is because he wanted that. And I don't know if you can see it. That thing right in there. Right about there. That thing. What is that? It's a stick shift. This is a six speed. So it's the XSE model pretty well equipped and I'll do a video on this later okay so that's the update for today 
and hey, I really like this. So we're going to be doing those videos. Some of them just need to be edited and then some of them I need to make. So the next up is going to be that welding cart or maybe the XSE hatchback with a six speed manual. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.